Hi. So uh, we're back from holidays, which was fantastic, I have to say. Uh, but I came back and noticed that I had a few things that were getting a little bit low in the fridge. And one of them was the chicken stock paste. Now, if you haven't made this before, it is really simple. You've made the veggie stock paste, no doubt. And if you haven't made that, you should make it. So the with the chicken stock paste, I just literally have the chicken stock paste in the fridge and the veggie stock paste. There is also a meat stock paste. I've made that once. I really didn't use it a lot and not many recipes actually call for it. So welcome to make it. But I find by having those two, the veggie and the chicken in the fridge, that's all I need. If you're vegetarian, don't make the chicken. Just substitute anything um, with, you know, if you ask for chicken stock paste, which will probably be more likely to be a, um, a meat dish, then um, just substitute with, um, your veggie stock paste. All right. Now there's a couple of um, little tips in this one though. So I will show you. Oh, let's go back to the beginning. So here it is. This is the chicken stock paste. Uh, start cooking. The 300 grams of skinless chicken thigh fillets cut into pieces, partially frozen. Now I took mine out of the freezer and so they've been defrosting. Uh, uh, so that's I've actually put them in here. So I've got these pieces. I don't know if you can see. So they are still a bit frozen. The reason they ask for frozen is we're going to mince this. And if they're a bit frozen, it makes it a bit easier to chop. So insert the measuring cup. Done that. Five seconds on speed seven. Now, I would say seven seconds on speed seven. Really simple to remember. So I'm just going to turn that up to seven. Remembering it's one of the good things about this. We can do whatever we want. So now I'm going to turn this up to speed seven. It's the transfer into a bowl instead of side. I'm just going to show you there is our chicken mince. Now the really good thing about this is um, you may or may not be aware that when you buy mince in the supermarket, it's often got other things in it. It's definitely got water. It's got you know, other things just filling it up. So by buying your meat fresh, um, you know, obviously this is partially frozen to to um, to chop, but buy your meat and mince your own meat, you're going to get a better quality mince. Uh, and remembering too, which I forgot, having been away, I forgot to take my own container to the butcher. But to take my own container to the butcher we are zero waste because that just literally uh, gets put into my container, which is a reusable thing. And uh, so we have no waste, no plastic, no nothing to get rid of. So I'm going to pop this into the bowl as it's supposed for me to do. Okay. Okay, so that's just like that. Doesn't matter that it's not clean because we're gonna, this is going to go back in. But there's our mince, really great quality mince. Okay, back to our screen. 300 grams of mixed whites, um, roots and vegetables. So I've got a bit of onion here. I have some garlic. I might have got over gone on the garlic, but anyway, never mind. Um, I have small zucchini. Now I've kept the little ends and they are going into a container in the freezer for my veggie stock paste. That goes in and I have the green end of a leek. So there we go. Four sprigs of mixed fresh herbs. So I've got rosemary in here. I've got oops, um, a bit of sage. I've got thyme in here. Um, I do have a little bit of basil here, so I might just chuck this in because I've got nothing else to put in anyway. So when I buy my basil, and this is one thing I'm just going to plant hopefully soon. Um, if I've got some left over, I make it into pesto with a bit of parsley. I usually make the, um, the chunky basil pesto dip, and that goes in everything. You can have it as a dip. You can have it, um, you could put it um, as a crust on some chicken, you could um, 
just put it in your scrambled eggs, which is what I do in the morning, some good fat, some healthy stuff. So that's my herbs going in. Going to pop the lid on. 10 seconds, speed five. Break down the sides of the bowl. I'll show you what it looks like when I've done. There we go. All beautifully chopped up there, but I will scrape that down. Smells nice and oniony. 150 grams of rock salt. I've just got this is the Himalayan, you can see just in an old coconut oil jar. 150 grams, not oh, plenty. I'm not sure if I was going to quite have enough of that a little. Oh, white wine vinegar. I'm not using white wine vinegar, but what I will do is I'm going to use a little bit of water. It's not even vinegar, white wine. I'll be using the equivalent in water. A little bit more. That'll do. One dried bay leaf, haven't got that. One whole clove, I've got to look for them. They're up here in my cupboard up here. I have a whole clove in here. Now this, I, this container I take to the source and fill up. So that's one clove going in, whoops. And I think I need coriander seeds, and they will be up here too. So in deal, this goes with me to the um, source and to the farm away, and there it is. Five of these little numbers. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah. Reserved minced chicken. So we've seen that. That's going back in the top there. And then we're going to put the simmering basket on top instead of the measuring. I actually have a TM5 simmering basket, and that's what I do tend to use. So that doesn't have a lid. The TM61 has a lid. But before I actually get this going, so then it's going to cook for 25 minutes. And we'll just go in here and we'll look at the preview. So the mixture will become thick and fairly dry. Remove the simmering basket, insert the measuring cup, and we're going to um, we're going to that's a bit weird. Uh, turn it up. Um, we're going to blend it. All right. So that that's okay. But what I wanted to show you too, another little tip, is once it's finished, which we're not going to stay here for twenty five minutes. You need a clean jar, right? And instead of using like a funnel, you can use this as a funnel. So I put it on that way up. Some people put it that way up. And sometimes it does slot into the jar a bit better. But I put it this way up because this is the dirty side anyway. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spoon this mixture into that jar without spilling it all around. Okay. So and that's it. We now have 25 minutes. Go back here. We put a, a Varoma temperature on speed two. So I'm going to set that going and um, I'm going to love you and leave you and hope that you've learned some really cool things. So just remember to use your lid as a funnel and also when you're mincing your own meat, seven seconds, speed seven. Okay. Have a great afternoon. <laughs>